Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the YouTube live class organized by Odisha School Education Program Authority. Today, we'll discuss about the emerging varieties of tour. This class is meant for twelfth vocational students, and it is in the paper four, unit three. and this is the first class in this session 2022 and we have already discussed in the previous class about the types of emerging tour we have discussed about pilgrimage tour we have discussed about buddhist circuit tour we have discussed about toy train tour today will discuss about other aspect of emerging variety of tour like mice tour beach holiday wildlife tour desert safari and others so first of all we'll discuss about mice tourism so what do you mean by mice it is a emerging variety of tour mice means m for meeting i for incentive c for conference and e for exhibition this is a new innovative tour which attracts tourist travelers from different corners of the world my tourism is gaining popular and it is one of the important tourism aspects to attract more number of tourists to our destination so my tourism is a part of business tourism industry it encompasses four niches as we discussed meeting incentive travel conference exhibitions next my tourism is typically tourism provision that is planned well in advance and designed for large groups of people for particular purposes so this my tourism should be arranged well in advance because we have to arrange for meeting and meeting should be arranged before some month and accordingly we have to book the conference facilities we have to inform to the participant and we have to arrange the catering facilities for them and other facilities we have to arrange for the guest so it should be well in advance so it is a niche area of tourism that is focus around planning and booking of groups for large events conferences or seminars mice is also reference to mice or event industry planning for a mice event can begin years in advance next sometimes the most prestigious locations are required with the most incredible catering and accommodation request top class entertainment of activities for the attendees because this my tourism tourist they are coming for this uh, conference to attend the conference to attend the meeting and they and top class arrangement should be made for them and they should be well accommodated all the all types of arrangement should be made in a properly manner so my tourism helps to motivate the staff to improve the productivity of the company and is gaining popularity in the corporate world next 
if you think about my story dip it is a formal gathering of people who are employees and professionals to conduct a business activity or formal discussion sometimes combined with informal activities some forms of meetings are board meetings annual general body meeting management meeting training and boarding meeting meeting with associates partners suppliers dealers etc so it also can include product launches and team building meetings next this my story gym includes any type of travel for the purpose of meetings this ranges from small meeting to large meetings so types of meetings like board of meeting focus group training seminars strategy planning shareholder meetings management meetings or briefing or you can say launching about a product next incentives so first part is over of mice it is meeting next comes the words incentive so it is totally different segment of mice and types of meeting where the purpose is not business but leisure because incentive is uh, given to the participant for this uh, leisurely activities for the relaxation for the uh, pleasure so incentive events are fun and leisure tour and trips planned for employees staffs or for associates and even sometimes for customers as a reward of recognition for their contribution or support incentive usually a group travel with hotel stay local travel dinners for and recreational activities and more next next word it is conference so conference are often called as convention are also a form of meeting with wider and higher number of participation in other words we can you can say conference is a platform where the persons exchange their ideas on a particular topic so this participation is usually not limited to one company or organization it is a forum of worldwide basis so also this type of meeting can last for few days and are often organized by professional or industry bodies and associations this often may include some exhibition next you see it is the picture of a conference room and how it is well decorated and sitting arrangement is there and uh, in this conference facilities the participant are observing about the discussion next next is about exhibition so exhibition are largely a wide scale gathering of buyers and sellers here sellers exhibit their product services new launches and even information related to this the buyers are the visitors who visit to buy or know about new product services or launches and also to explore new market so exhibitions provide an opportunity for businesses to showcase their product 
or services. They are often in the form of trade show. So in exhibition, the participant gets the idea about the new product launch and can buy the product also. Next, it is the picture of an exhibition or trade fair. Next, why is my tourism important? Nowadays, so much importance was given to this mice tourism because it facilitates the access to new technology. It attracts high spending visitors. It provides high yield and return per capita. It enhances the international economic contract. It creates more economic multiplier effect and competitiveness. So it can enhance of peak tourism because we know the tourism is a seasonal business. But, but you can, but mice tourism can be arranged frequently on the basis of, of peak tourism. Next, industry players in the mice tourism sector, the industry which participate in this mice tourism, they are the transport providers. It may be international or domestic accommodation provider. Those who provide pre and post conference tour opportunities, staff at specific venue, propose built center and hotels, professional conference and exhibition organizer and catering services, social program leaders, for delegates and participants, specialized technical support such as audiovisual services. Next, it is all about the mice tourism we have discussed. Now we will discuss about the beach holiday because it is also one of the emerging varieties of tour. Regarding the beach, beach the land above the water line at a shore of a body of water marked by an area of sand, rock or pebbles that have been brought there by the tide or waves usually used with the ocean. It is an area to sunbath, swim, generally have fun rather than a strictly geographical location. So major activities in the Indian beaches are boating, fishing, surfing, kayaking, scuba driving, parasailing, windsurfing and any other water sport. So these adventure activities are also organized in the beach. Sun, sea, and sand have continued to provide the main ingredient of beach tourism. Next, beach tourism is based on a unique source of combination and the interface of land and sea offering amenities such as water, beaches, scenic beauty, rich terrestrial and marine biodiversity, diversified cultural and historical heritage, healthy food and good infrastructure. It includes a diversity of activities that take place in both coastal zone and coastal water, which involve development of tourism capacities, hotels, resort, second homes, restaurant and support infrastructure and port, marine, fishing and diving shop and other facilities. Next, these coastal recreation activities which have been increasing both in volume and in number during the last decade occupy a unique place in 
coastal or you can say it is beach to region there are mainly two types of recreational uses of beach tourism they are conjunctive and non conjunctive if it is conjunctive this activities such as fishing sail fishing and sail collection which are consumed of or we can say which are used by the consumers and when it is a non conjunctive part it is for the relaxation it is a leisurely activities we you can say it is swimming it is diving it is boating surfing wind surfing jet skiing bird watching and other types of adventurous activities next this beach tourism activities beach tourism activities are this adventurous activities and this is uh, the relaxation it is a pleasurely activities in the sun sea sand these are the ingredient for beach tourism activities tourist can experience a wide variety of tourism activities during the tour in the beaches based on the type of beach and their rules and regulations so water sports and other types of beach activities are a great way to enjoy the beauty of beaches in india and to discover the recreation and enjoyment on indian beaches these major activities in the indian beaches are boating fishing surfing kayaking scuba diving parasailing wind surfing or any other water sports these water sports are activities are happening in the beach and they are particularly for the relaxation for getting pleasure of the tourist they are areas with crystal blue water that provide the perfect playground to do so so apart from sports and recreation activities many indian beaches provide wide variety of food shopping recreation spa ayurvedic and other alternative wellness facilities to the tourist in the beaches near the beaches next there are the uh, beaches in odisha and we will discuss about the major beaches in odisha so these are puri beaches chandrabhaga ramachandi bali hachandi beach astaranga beach chandipur beach and gopalpur beach and this is you see the this is the big picture of puri beach and puri is known as the golden beach and it is it is transformed into the blue flag beach recently due to cleanliness and this blue flag beach is a certificate certificate sir given to the beaches by the foundation for environmental education and the blue flag certification is a highly recognize eco label in which a beach has to meet 33 criteria fixed by the foundation for environmental education denmark so there are criteria this criteria is met by the puri golden beach so it is transformed puri golden beach is transformed into blue flag beach and it is proud for the odisha to have a designation like blue flag beach and these standards are for water quality safety and public environmental education in a major boost to tourism in odisha the golden beach in puri has been accorded the prestigious blue flag tag and the humble golden beach of puri in odisha 
has transformed into a blue flag beach and officially ranked as India's cleanest beach. Next, it is the Chandrabhaga beach. Chandrabhaga beach is situated 3 kilometers from Sun Temple Kona, which is one of the world's heritage sites. And it is in Puri district. And it is 30 kilometers from the city of Puri. And in Chandrabhaga beach, the uh, peoples take a dip in the Magha Saptami and they think they will purify themselves. You see the picture of Chandrabhaga beach, how pleasant the environment is. Then it is Ramchandi beach. It is on the way to the marine drive from Puri to Konark and there are water sports activities are organized in this Ramchandi beach. You see the picture, different beaches, boating facilities and this uh, speed motors and parasailing different activities are there. Next, Ramchandi beach is on the marine drive from Konark to Puri and which is 7 kilometers away from Konark and 25 kilometers from Puri. Ramchandi beach is one of the beautiful beach of Odisha, situated in the junction of river Kusabhadra and Bay of Bengal. And the scenic bay, a river and a sea meet each other. And the beautiful place is that and you can find the deity Ramchandi near the beaches. Next. This beach, this Ramchandi beach actually famous. It is very isolated place. It is clean and you can say it is pristine beach where the water is so turbulent and this beach is famous for the sunrise and sunset. Most interesting fact about this spot is the sunset and Raging moon can be visualized here at a time. So sunset and the rising of moon. You can see at a time and the lovely scenery is worth watching here. And due to a gradual slope of this beach, the high waves are not formed here and keeps this beach perfect for boating and water activities. For that reason, adventurous sports activities are performed in this beach. And the unique speciality of this beach is one can go the island like place present here by boat and one side of the island lies the Bay of Bengal and on the other side there is the Kusabhadra river which looks like really super. So a number of artistic sand art are created and showcased in this beach during the Ramchandi festival and Goddess Ramchandi temple is adjacent to this which gives a devotional atmosphere. Next, it is the Bali Hachandi beach. It is located 27 kilometers away from the holy city of Puri. And since the beach falls between Puri and Konark, Bali Hochandi beach is the much quieter and offbeat alternative to the Puri beach with a peaceful, calm and tranquility about the whole place. You see the picture of this Bali Hochandi. Next, Astaranga beach. The Astaranga beach is a famous fishing village and every morning market is set up on the beach from where you can purchase the different varieties of fresh peaches, fishes. And this Astaranga beach, which literally means 
the colorful sunset at the nemsos is an extremely picturesque beach located in the state of odisha asta means sunset and ranga means colorful and you can find out the beach is very colorful during the sunset and it is 91 km away from the jagannath temple and 19 km from the konark sun temple the beach attracts tourists as well as many photographers for its beauty and near the astaranga we can see the jahaniya piro in the temple which is not only for the muslims but also for the hindu both hindus and muslim visited this uh, temple next you see it is the colorful picture of astaranga beach and how the beach looks like during the sunset time how colorful beach is looks like then you can see the paradeep beach paradeep port it is also famous in the ancient time and ships are coming to this paradeep and it is the you see next it is the chandipur beach the picture of the chandipur beach beach and chandipur beach is famous because it is a vanishing sea you can say it is a vanishing sea because the sea recedes 5 km away every day so you see the two views of this chandipur beach where the water is there in another part the water is away to the 5 km distance and at that time it is just like land you can walk in the beach or you can uh, you can motor you can cycle you can ride a motorcycle also in that beach next this sandipur beach the picture you see this beach is 16 km from baleshwar and has been listed by the lonely planet world renowned travel expert as one of the world's most unusual beaches because the sea reaches 5 km daily and at the time you cannot see the beach but in the evening the beach usually come back so chandipur beach is also called as hide and seek beach for its unique properties this water receding at the beach happens twice a day during low and high tides if you stay for a long time in the beach you can you could see the beach disappearing and then again coming back to the shore after a while chandipur is famous for its seafood especially the prawn and pamphlet next gopalpur beach located on the east coast of the bay of bengal the gopalpur beach is luxurious beach located in odisha the beach is also known as gopalpur and sea has a calm and soothing coast even during the world war 1 it was an important military port where the soldiers used to embark on a journey to burma next you see it is the picture of the gopalpur beach we have discussed about the beach holidays we have discussed about the mice tour now we'll discuss about the health tour health for the particular of health purposes the tourists are traveling from one place to another for the 
treatment of health for the medical purposes or to get mental peace people travel from one place to another place so health tourism nowadays is gaining importance it is a wider term for travel that focuses on medical treatment and use of health care services it covers a wide field of health oriented tourism ranging from preventive and health conductive treatment to rehabilitational and curative form of travel so wellness tourism is a related field the medical tourism in austria is fuel and driven by patient who feel this enfranchised by the healthcare system in their home country this informed the patient shop outside the organized medical system to find services that are affordable timely or simply available so for the medical purposes the travelers the tourists are traveling to a destination next india is also aggressively promoting the medical tourism or you can say health tourism in the current year and slowly now it is moving into a new era of medical outsourcing where the subcontracts provide the services to overburden medical care system in western countries so health care tourism is an age old concept that has gained popularity in recent time the history of health care tourism in india is very old with the popularity of yoga ayurveda around 5000 years ago constant streams of medical traveler and spiritual students flock into india to seek the benefits of alternating healing method by yoga by this uh, ayurveda treatment the patients are cured so for that reason the people prefer to comes to india for this medical curative purpose next healthcare tourism is an act where people from all around the world are traveling to other countries to obtain medical dental surgical care while at the same time touring and vacationing and fully experiencing the attraction of the countries that they are visiting so they are simultaneously comes for the treatment and after the treatment after uh, the treatment they can visit the different attraction of the countries actually people travel to avail of such facilities because of much cheaper rate or those treatment such as ayurveda yoga therapy which are available in one's own country so health tourism is a first growing multi billion dollar industry around the world and it entails trade in services of two major industry you can say it is medicine and in other part it is tourism next this example of health tourism you can say mumbai the fastest growing medical tourism destination in india mumbai has several super specialty hospital research diagnostic center for orthopedics and weight loss surgery and mumbai is famous for its cosmetic surgery and also for ayurvedic treatment india is a huge magnet for attracting foreign patient for the medical treatment because this 
medical treatment is cheaper if if we compare to the western countries india host lakhs of tourist from countries like uk us canada and from neighboring countries like bangladesh sri lanka and china for this medical purposes next we have discussed about the health tourism or you can say medical tourism now we'll discuss about the wildlife tourism so wildlife is also a part which is mixed intermingled with the nature and it attracts tourist to the destination in wildlife tourism these are that uh, these are taken over by the forest department and in wildlife tourism there is a core area there is a buffer area and the visitors are not allowed to the core area because it is uh, for the animals and they can visit the buffer zone and this wildlife tourism is an element for many nations travel industry centered around observation and interaction with local animals and plant life in their natural habitat so while it can include eco and animal friendly tourism so safari hunting and similar high intervention activities also fall under the umbrella of wildlife tourism wildlife tourism in its simplest sense is it is an interacting with the wild animals in the natural habitat whenever we are visiting a zoo we we observe the animals when they are in a cage but whenever we are visiting a wildlife sanctuaries we see the animals we are observing the animals activities of the animals in their natural habitat next this wildlife tourism refers to the observation and interaction with local animals and plant life in the natural habitat it encompasses segments such as ecotourism safari tour and mountain tourism among others so wildlife watching tourism occurs mainly in the protected areas the animals you can spot here the spotted deer leopard tiger sloth bear black buck sambar forand antelopes porcupine and different animals and the rugged terrain along with the dense jungle makes it the perfect habitat for the wild animals to flourish and makes for a challenging safari through the park for adventure lover in you next we'll discuss about the wildlife tourism in odisha it is, you can say it is simli park which is in the marwanj district it is bhitarganiga it is in the kendrapara district and both simli park and bhitarganiga these are not only wildlife sanctuaries but also national park and it's a debris god wildlife sanctuaries it is in the sambalpur and silka bird sanctuaries which we which you can say it is in the puri khoda and ganjam district this kuldia wildlife sanctuaries which is in the baleswar this chandaka wildlife sanctuaries which is famous for elephants it is in the khoda district next you see this is the picture of simli park national park it is in the gudgudia camp and the river uh, um, are flowing and how the scenic beauty is there next it is, you see the joranda waterfall it is in inside the simli park and how dense the forest is next it is the bhitarkonika national park and bhitarkonika national park is famous for crocodile and also for the mangrove forest because it is the second largest mangrove forest 
in world and first is the sundarban next it is the devri god wildlife sanctuaries if we if you visit the devri god wildlife sanctuaries it is not a big wildlife sanctuaries but you can find the animals in last number in the uh, this uh, devri god sanctuaries in one side you see the mahanadi is there and other side is the dense forest next it is the silika bird sanctuaries you know silika is a ramsar site and silika is not a lake it is a lagoon because it is the the water is saline the water is salty that's why it is lagoon and it is famous for migratory birds and in the december to february most of the migratory birds comes to the silka and uh, nalabono is known as the bird sanctuaries and uh, the and the other places is also at the silka next it is the kuldeha wildlife sanctuaries it is in the baleswar and it is also famous for this uh, elephants and this uh, tiger and other types it is a part of this uh, then comes the chandka wildlife sanctuaries which is uh, in khoda it is famous for elephants it's a desert safari so whenever you feel like the taking a desert camel safari in india you can experience it in the northwestern and northern regions of the country these arid lands have been quite popular as holiday destinations are travelers so camel rides are emerging way to roam the regions of these animals are adapted to extreme temperature and tough terrain so bubbling up and down and swaying back and forth along the camels will be a memorable experience next this desert safari the third desert in rajasthan is one of the most well known states opulent in tradition and glory in reality probably the most magical approach to explore the sands of rajasthan particularly the unending sand dunes of jaisalmer bikaner is by taking of desert safari the desert safari will take you to the remotest your region khuri village can make an ideal vacation spot the desert safari of rajasthan is really a most favored cruiser by way of the medieval cities forts and palaces of rajasthan to probably the most romantic 12th century caravan city of jaisalmer it is the beginning point from the desert safari exploring the use unending glittering antelopes next the popular destination for camel safari in india these are the jaisalmer bikaner mandwa pushkar jodhpur ladakh ranakuch and banner and in this safari desert safari what happens the tourists are getting a chance to visit the desert by camel riding and by jeep and this should be moving and thank you all